Republican Governor Brian Kemp and others have derided the COVID-19 relief package for prioritizing some states over others, like Georgia. The bill cleared the House early Saturday. Photo courtesy of the architect of the Capitol Washington, the U.S. House on a nearly party-line vote passed President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion pandemic aid package early Saturday, in a rush to both boost COVID-19 vaccine funding and get legislation to the president's desk before unemployment benefits expire in mid-March. The package, dubbed the American Rescue Plan, passed 219-212. It includes a gradual increase in the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, despite a ruling on Thursday by the Senate parliamentarian that the wage hike does not comply with Senate budget rules. Whether the pay increase survives in the Senate is yet to be seen. Two House Democrats voted against the bill, and every Republican opposed it. Georgia's delegation voted along party lines. The Biden bailout bill is a partisan wish list that puts the Democrats' agenda before hardworking Americans and students. COVID relief should be targeted and actually tied to COVID, Congressman Buddy Carter, a Pooler Republican, said in a tweet. Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux, a Sewanee Democrat, praised the aid packed into the measure, like increased vaccine distribution and help for families and businesses. But she also acknowledged in a statement that there are areas in the bill where we can better target funding to those in need. As the Senate proceeds with this legislation, I will continue working to ensure that we are addressing the serious threat of COVID-19, while being a responsible steward of taxpayer dollars, Bordeaux said. The Biden administration on Friday underlined its support for the massive measure, which includes $350 billion in direct aid to state and local governments. Georgia would receive $4.6 billion and local governments would see about $2.4 billion. The bill would allow the administration to execute its plan to change the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, the administration said in a statement. And it would provide Americans and their communities an economic bridge through the crisis. But Republican Governor Brian Kemp and others have derided the proposal for prioritizing some states over others, like Georgia. The federal government is borrowing money that our kids and grandkids will have to pay back for decades to come with the lion's share of the funds sent to bail out states like California and New York. State Representative Jody Lott, the governor's floor leader, told her colleagues Friday while urging them to publicly oppose the proposal. The bill would also provide direct checks of $1,400 to Americans in certain income brackets, extend unemployment benefits and food programs and continue pauses on rental evictions. Since the pandemic, more than 8 million people have slipped into poverty, according to a study by Columbia University.